at some of the differences uh, regarding franchises versus independents, uh, restaurants. Well, a franchise, of course, is somebody else created the intellectual property. And then if you're the franchisee, you bought the rights to use their intellectual property. And therefore, you have to operate using the systems and standards that they gave you. Well, but you got to also understand an independent is creating their own intellectual property. So the independent has to be an outside-of-the-box thinker, but they also have to be able to create the system and then make sure that they execute against their own system. Okay? The challenges really are wide. I mean, there, there's a huge difference. A, you deal with a lot of franchisor and franchisee disputes because they're not communicating. Well, so the franchisor, now, and, and let me be clear, both sides have a right to make money. But their way of going about making money is different. A franchisor's customer is the franchisee. And the franchisee's customer is the customer that buys the food in the restaurant. And that's where it gets broken down a lot. Because a lot of times what ends up happening is the franchisor oversteps its bounds and is more worried about the customer than they are their customer, which is the franchisee. Also, the franchisee oversteps its bounds because it's wanting to change the intellectual property or the concept of the structure, the, uh, the operating process that they bought, that they paid for. And it ultimately comes down to when we are dealing with disputes of the franchisor and the franchisee, walking through the communication. We happen to be certified mediators. Went through the process of training to get our certificates so that we could mediate. Now, in a lot of cases, people mediate between you know, marriage disputes, business disputes, finance disputes. Well, we only deal with mediating between franchisor and franchisee dispute. That's the only thing I know is restaurant business. And what we thought was, we're best off focusing on where the most disputes happen and only be an expert in dealing with mediation in those disputes. So we deal with those disputes. And the focus happens to end up always coming around to, two of you weren't communicating. Just Tell this person what you want, and you tell them what you want, and somewhere in between there is what's going to be right. And that's the biggest challenge. It's getting them to understand they both have a right to make money. But you've got to communicate the stuff. <laughs>